Hi everybody, my name is Paige and we're out here with Glacier Peak Institute and today we're going to talk about the Western Red Cedar. So the Western Red Cedar is indigenous to this area. The native peoples here use it for a lot of different things. They made canoes out of it, made some totem poles, and even built some of their longhouses with it. To identify a Western Red Cedar, there are two things you can look for. The first is looking at their leaves. So the leaves are scaly. They remind me of snakes and lizards. If you look real close, they're built out in ways that look like scales. If you touch the leaves, they feel really nice and smooth going one way, but if you go backwards, they start to feel real rough. So when I think of cedar, I like to think of smooth leaves. The second way you can identify a western red cedar is by looking at the bark. So you can see right here, the bark is nice and smooth. Its lines run up and down, they're vertical, and they're nice and straight. So cedars, they have scaly leaves, and they also have smooth, straight bark. Hi, I'm Hope with Glacier Peak Institute, and today we're going to be talking about hemlock trees. So what I have behind me right now is our western hemlock. Hemlock trees are super cool because they are the state tree of Washington, so you can find them all over the state. They're really awesome, and some ways you can identify hemlock trees is they're evergreens, which means they're going to keep their needles all year long. Another way you can tell is that all of their needles are going to grow out in a flat way, so they're all going to be on the same plane. So if you look and you press your hand against it, you can see they're all on the same plane. The other way we can tell our hemlock trees apart from other trees is on the back, they're gonna have two white stripes on their needles. This is one of the key ways we can tell them apart from other trees is that distinction of the needle. The needles themselves are pretty short. And so knowing all this, now I hope you guys can identify your own hemlock trees. Thanks for watching.